Hello everyone, this is Jason Rogash. I want to make a quick video today about um, some a group called the MF Group. Huh, yeah, right, exactly, MF Group. Mossack Fonseca, they are a law firm based out of Panama, and they essentially are in the middle of this Panama Papers right now. And what the Panama Papers, if you're not familiar, is a giant uh, money, money offshoring. So celebrities, um, David Cameron, for Christ's sake, people, uh, the, the Prime Minister of, of uh, China, uh, Vladimir Putin's friends, uh, powerful, rich people, actors, musicians, etc., um, caught in this this kind of tax scam. This, these tax havens that uh, Mossack Fonseca created. Uh, again, they're a law firm based out of Panama. What's interesting with them is they were found. One of the founders, uh, Jurgen Mossack, his father was Erhard Mossack, and of course, Erhard Mossack was an SS officer. What makes him even more interesting? I mean, he was a Nazi. Let's just put it that way. The founder of the bank that's involved uh, in the in this money. Uh, this tax-free shelter shit that's going on right now in the Panama Papers. Uh, his father was a Nazi SS officer. What also was interesting is that his father was not only an SS officer, but he was a Hitler youth. And he was in a, the group called the Werewolves. Now, the Werewolves are were essentially... They were, not, they were active during at the very, very end of the Third Reich. But really, their job was, after the World War II was over, they would kind of help out with what became the Odessa um, operati operatives. They became Odessa operatives. That was that rat line to get the Nazis out of Germany, what was, were left. And also, post-World War II, they were used with the CIA. And this is admitted. This was the, There was a German newspaper who exposed this in the 50s. Used, um, they were used, the werewolves were used uh, were with the CIA in case of a Russian invasion of Eastern Europe. So they would leave them behind and they would activate them if there was ever to, to, you know, to go after the Russians. What's really fascinating, these werewolves inevitably became Operation Gladio. They essentially ran around Europe terrorizing Russians, terror, doing um, uh, assassination plots. They did terrorism. They did all, and they still are active today. Many people will say, tell you that they're still active today, Operation Gladio. But these were all Nazis, I mean, with the CIA and other intelligence agencies, but essentially these were the werewolves uh, that had worked for Otto, Scorze Otto Scorzani, who was a German general who ran uh, the werewolves. The battle cry of the werewolves is something that you're all going to be familiar with. It's an amazing thing. I didn't know this until I started researching it. Their battle cry, at the end, even Goebbels would play this on the state radio, better dead than red. Anti-communists, rabid fascists use this all the time. Better dead than red. And that came from the werewolves. That came from the Nazis. <laughs> ah. So Ernst Mozak was, again, one of these. And he was in, 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 a werewolf in Hitler, Hitler Youth. He was also in the Death's Head Division, which was the, they were Nazi war criminals. They were... Look up, look up the Death Heads Division. It was pretty fucking disturbing. And that's what... This guy, uh, um, Jürgen Mosak's dad, Erhard Mosak. Also, Jürgen Mosak's brother, Peter Mosak, is the uh, consulate to Frankfurt, Germany. <laughs> so, um, you also have to look up the Borman Brotherhood book. Great book about this. Um, also, a, a fun fact that recent documents have come out that, in fact, Ernst, uh, um, or excuse me, um, Erhard Mosak was a spy in because he because post World War II he got to Panama and was protected by the CIA and actually was used these documents imply and they they do more than imply that he was spying for spying um, for the CIA in Panama uh, to Cuba spying spying on Cuba and one of the things that's fascinating about that is if that's true and they can flesh that out that it was he would be under what the JM wave. Uh, program in from Miami, which was Ted Shackley, and Ted Shackley, of course, was one of the CIA's greatest uh, agent. I don't know what you would call him. He was a he was a director of uh, many many horrifying, terrible things in Latin America and in, and in America itself. Um, he, look him up. Look up Ted Shackley sometime. Theodore Shackley in CIA. You'll be blown away. But Jurgen uh, Mosak, who was one of the founders of the Mosak Fonseca Group. 
uh, this this law firm, uh, his dad was an SS officer. Now, tell me something. What do you think the son of an SS officer was going to be taught by his dad? Do you think they were going to be taught how you know about freedom and democracy? And, and no, they were going to be indoctrinated into the same shit that their dad. Because the only reason their dad stopped being an SS officer was because. And did he ever? This goes into that underground Reich thing that Dave Emery talks about, but other people have talked about. And it falls into the word werewolves, these werewolves, this guerrilla warfare group of uh, in Germany that were supposed to stay behind and, and, and eventually became Operation Gladio. Folks, they, that name, Wolf, that's why you hear all the terms white wolves and all those things about the white supremacists and uh, anti... Um, Jewish, anti-everything, racial warfare, morons, skinhead douchebags, anti-Semites. They all say this shit. They all use those terms because they're all Nazi terms. Um, and, and this werewolf group became Operation Gladio. Now, let me take a, a step. What if that was turned on into the United States on some level? What if terrorism to this country, what if the right, fascist right wing is the one's perpetuating, involved with marketing, hell, could be even the shooters in some of these quote-unquote events that you're seeing all over the country um, that that people consider to be hoaxes and that, you know, inevitably get blamed on Jews. Have you ever noticed that? The whole community online, every hoax, inevitably, Jews will be blamed. It, don't you find that odd? That they never talk about the underground Reich. They never talk about the shit that I'm ta- that I talk about. That Joel at Aryan Empires and Reich Watch talks about. Don't you find it funny that none of them mention this shit? The Nazi connections all over the intelligence community. Reinhard Galen and the CIA. The werewolves from Hitler's youth essentially becoming fucking Operation Gladio. Or members of it being used in opera, which was a, it's a, which is still active today. Many people think, and is a terrorist organization, which is helped funded by the CIA as well in Europe. This terrorism campaign, and it essentially was guided at it was it was aimed at communism. It was aimed at getting people because you have people in this world who are uh, communism is the worst goddamn thing they could possibly think of. Business owners, capitalists, you know, etc. <laughs> they they really don't want co- fascism is the merger of the state. And corporations, okay? Communism is exactly the opposite of that. It's nationalization. <laughs> so it's 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 taking it away from the private sector. That's why the Constitution of America, a lot of people don't think the Constitution is the best thing in the world for the average person because the Constitution does two things. Number one, protects private property to a ridiculous degree. And secondly, um, suppresses mass democracy. Can't have, constitutional, can't have a, a national referendum on anything because it's unconstitutional. So it suppresses mass democracy and it protects uh, private property. That doesn't really help the average person. Um, thank you for listening and check out all of this. these connections. The werewolves, the Nazis, um, Scorzani, um, Operation Gladio. Check all this stuff out and start thinking in terms of, did this is this still going on now? Thank you for listening.